Florida State right down the road in Tallahassee, Mike Norvell, really good example of what they were facing. Fans wanted a quick fix, but it's taken some time. So ever since I was a little kid, and I'm sure you can tell by the video thumbnail and the title that I'm a huge fan of the Florida State Seminoles. I've always loved the garnet and the gold. Whether it's been the crazy golfers they seemingly always produce, or the legendary era of Bobby Bowden or Jimbo Fisher in the Jameis Winston days, I've just always been drawn. And while I may not have attended undergrad there, doesn't mean I cannot like their rich history of football, specifically going into next season. And I honestly can say, going into next year, the Knolls are going to be scary after going through a lost decade. And ultimately leading the charge is Mike Norvell, who has been not so secretly building a war chest the last couple years. And I honestly think he's bringing Tallahassee back to the Hollywood of college football. Which means that we could see the Knolls enter next season as a top 10 AP team for the first time since 2017 after a 10-3 and season. And an amazing bowl win over Oklahoma for the first 10-win season since 2016. So in reality, it's plausible to see that Florida State is on the rise and has the potential to win an ACC championship and make the college football playoffs. But I ultimately think it's important to remember that we have to pump the brakes a little bit for a variety of reasons. But just know this, the Knolls are here and ready to play and stay. And we got to look at one of the major reasons for all the hype this year, especially when it comes to the returning players such as Jordan Travis, Trey Benson, Micah Pittman, Johnny Wilson, NFL first rounder, Jared Verse, or would be, Fabian Levette, Kaylin Deloach, and a few notable others. And I think it's also important to note that going into next season, the Knolls are retaining 87% of their production from last season, which ultimately is going to be the reason why they're going to continue their success from last year. In addition to that, they also had another monster transfer portal again this year, ranking in at number three in the entire country behind LSU and Colorado, bringing in notable guys like tight ends Jaheim Bell and Kyler Morlock. And I really like the Bell transfer because he can be an exceptional choice for a running threat as he was at South Carolina. In addition to already having Johnny Wilson, they're bigger bodied guys, so it's going to be a nightmare for opposing defenses. Several guys on the offensive line, and where I get really excited is they brought in a highly touted trio on the defensive line, being Brandon Fisk from Western Michigan, Daryl Jackson, and Gilbert Edmond, which is great because they provide a more solid base to stopping the run and additional depth to once was a weak defensive line. But to me, their biggest defensive transfer, maybe even over over the entire portal was cornerback Fentrell Cypress out of Virginia, who is coming off a second all-team ACC in 2022. However, according to 24-7 Sports, the Knolls had an average recruiting class for 2023, coming in at 20th overall in the country, but it's worth noting they are building past 2023 for sustainable success, modeling their build after the Georgias and Alabamas of the country, and while they may not be a championship level team, they are a playoff contender team. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, in my way too early prediction, I think Florida State will end up making the college football playoffs. What really looks good for them so far is that the ACC has gotten away from divisions. All you have to have is the first or second best record in the ACC to go to the title game. Overall, looking at the entirety of their schedule, the four toughest games that I see right now are LSU, Clemson, Wake Forest, and Pitt. Outside of that, the schedule is honestly very doable for them, and I wouldn't be surprised if a 10-2, 11-1 season is a realistic possibility here. But basically, out of those four opponents, you're looking at how many are they going to lose out of those four. Because last year when Florida State faced ranked teams, they were 1-3. And to me, looking at next year, Wake Forest and Pitt seemingly have fallen off with Wake Forest losing their QB and Pitt just, I don't know, seems a little out of touch. But Clemson and LSU are going to be your real challenges. And with the opener against LSU being in Orlando, I do think that Florida State will end up beating them again very, very, very narrowly. And I think they'll narrowly lose to Clemson. So you're looking at an 11-1 season right there. Honestly, I can see those games going both ways. And... I could honestly see them winning both, but Brian Kelly's got that team well put together. Right now, LSU is a little bit more serious than they were last year, um, and that win last year against LSU didn't really look serious until later in the season when LSU went on that little streak. But I also think we got to look later on the schedule when they hit Miami and Florida. Um, I think those games, they're both going to win. You know, Florida State's leading the state right now uh, in terms of just where the roster's at. Billy Napier's putting together a really excellent roster. The recruiting game's strong. Same with Miami. Mario Cristobal is leading the charge down there. He had a number six recruiting class. Um, but those really don't hit 
three to four years from now. We could see Florida actually losing more games this year than last year. The transfer portal and Mike Norvell getting a head start is why this roster is the way that it is and why Florida State is best poised to do something in 2023. You know, and some of the best talent in the country comes from Florida. So let's say Florida State beats both Florida and the University of Miami. That sends a powerful message to recruits to why they want to stay in the state and why they want to choose Florida State. But not only that, when prospects, not only from Florida, but the entire country see that your program is finally real and doing something after 10 years, more players are going to want to come there. And boy, if you think this transfer years class was good and the recruiting class was average, just wait till you see those numbers next year or the year after. This is only going to snowball the effect, especially if they exceed expectations this year. And if you look around in the ACC, there's really no clear-cut competition other than Clemson. And is really Clemson that much of an edge over you? Like I said, it was a toss-up for them, but this year is very doable for the Knowles and they got to do something about it. But if you guys made it this far in the video, could you do me a huge favor and leave a like on this? Because it always does help me out. It pushes me out to the algorithm. We love the Florida State Seminoles. We do all things NFL, college football, and more. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.